Hi guys, today we will create system design of fab crawler. So let's begin with step one and that is to record the function requirements. So what web crawler does crawl over entire web pages. Second is ignore duplicates because 30% of data on internet is duplicate then be polite be polite is basically don't overload a particular domain or a site and then store maybe 10 years of data 10 years of data cycle through entire web in 10 days approximately 1 billion pages in 10 days now in the step 2, let's talk about NFRs. NFRs is highly available and highly scalable and latency. System has to run through 1 billion pages in 10 days. So it has to be super low latency. Let's go to step 3 and do the capacity math. In the capacity math, let's say average page size 1 MB and we want to store 1 billion pages. So pages data will be 1 billion which is 10 raised to power 9 into 1 MB. So it will be 10 raised to power 3 MB is 1 GB. 6 is 1 TB and 9 is 1 PB. So this is 1 petabyte of data. So 1 petabyte of data uh, to store all these web pages. So what we can use? We can, and this is just HTML pages. So uh, they simply need a storage kind of. So let's go with blob storage, which is S3 drive. And here we will have, we will be able to uh, implement sharding on the data. Now, how much data will flow over internet? So we want one, 1 billion pages into 1 MB, which is in 10 days. So 10 days, 10 into 24 into 60 into 60. So this will be 24 into 60 into 60 is some around 84k or something which let's call it just to simplify this calculation 10 raised to power 5 so 1 billion will turn out 10 raised to power 9 into 1 mb divided by 10 into 10 raised to power 5 so it is 10 raised to power 3 mb which is 1 gb per second so that will be our ingress. So now I think we have pretty good understanding on the uh, data side. So we can start now, I guess. So let's talk how it will work. How a web crawler actually work. What it does, web crawler, web crawler begin with CD URLs, which are like pretty selected urls and crawl these pages and extract new urls from these pages before extracting store these html pages and extract new urls from these pages and then again continue crawling the new URLs. That's how it actually works. So this basically begin with pre-selected seed URLs and then it will uh, crawl those pages and then it uh, store the HTML pages and extract the new URLs from it and again keep continuing those new URLs. Begin with seed URL and then 
anchor all the pages these urls store html pages extracted new urls and start again crawling these for these extracted new url again crawl these so that's how it gonna work so begin with the set of urls crawling them storing and extracting so now let's further break it down what we need to crawl the url let's talk about that so basically the crawl url what will be needed here let me take this off and we'll draw it further again so for the crawling url first you have a url and you will go to dns server to get the ip and so for the cd url it will go to the download html page so for seed url it will go here download the html page service then it will go to dns server and dns server will give the uh, server ip from there it will download the html and html page base will further get stored into the database but before storing here what it will do once the page is downloaded we said we need to uh, ignore duplicate so how it will ignore the duplicate so there will be a service here which will check uh, content scene service and what it will do it will basically take the page and compare if this is already seen and how it does it to use the hashing for comparison so now we know if the page already seen then we need to ignore it now let's talk about the store pages so it will be a database here and we talked about that this will be s3 storage because we don't need acid and we this is not a structured data so we can just simply need non rdbms we need definitely sharding we need partitioning and highly available and there is one petabyte of data so i mean we can use s3 storage for it and if someone want to use a very specific or particular database that also fine for example uh, cassandra cassandra is also good here and fidi also low cost so depending upon what we need we can pick the database but here we choose the s3 as we talked so in the s3 we simply have the blob storage where all that html pages getting stored now the our page is downloaded we have ignored the duplicate and we have the html stored now we have the extracted new urls how that will go here so basically what we need we need a queue here it is a frontier queue so what it is doing so the seed urls are in the queue and then when the new extracted urls are coming they will also get into the queue and now based on the entries in the queue we are downloading the pages new urls are getting into the queue and the cycle is running so let's run through our requirement now crawl over entire web pages yes we will be crawling entire web pages ignore duplicate yes we have the content seen here and that will work to uh, ignore the duplicates then we have be polite so how will be with polite so polite is basically we need to 
avoid continuously hitting a particular domain so what we can do in our queue in our queue we can have a single domain pages will go in its own queue and we can implement a delay to get next record from Q. So in this way we will have like for example I am hitting on a site uh, systemdesign.com and it has let's say 20 URLs so first URL it will so all the systemdesign.com related URLs will be in a queue and now our crawler coming picking up a, a URL downloading the page doing the exercise now before picking the next option we can have a certain delay in this so that this will be polite it's not continuously hitting on a website and putting a lot of load on this so we have now a polite functionality in place a store maybe 10 years of data we talked about that it's a one petabyte data and we are storing in the storage we are good and complete cycle through entire web page in 10 days so it means actually for 10 days we have to run through how many pages uh, I'm going a little bit back into capacity match section we have 1 billion pages need to be finished in 10 days and uh, that will be 10 raised to power 9 and divide by 10 into 24 into 60 into 60 this is 84k and I will round it off to 10 raised to power 5 to simplify calculation and this is coming out 10 raised to power 3. So basically 1000 pages per second we need to run to complete the cycle. So as we can see here we definitely need to figure out is there any delay in our process if it is we need to sort out. So we are using queue so our services are decoupled now uh, extractor is extracting url filling in the queue the the main thing which will take time is dns server so dns server may take up to 10 milliseconds for one url and this may be a problem for us so what we need to do in this we need to implement a, a caching here every time we need a url we don't need to hit the server and wait for 10 milliseconds it's ready and we will keep doing it and dns server is continuously pulling out information updating caching so now i think the url going in the queue dns server has the uh, corresponding ip there when the download html page service comes in it fetched information quickly it go to content sheen and we are using hashing here to make the comparison faster and then we are storing the HTML pages and all these services are scalable now what can we do to optimize it maybe we can spin up maybe we can have multiple crawlers running by dividing URLs in different categories so basically like for example one is scroller is running for education sites and another is running for sports sites like that so then in that way we can even optimize this better so out of 1 billion pages we have multiple categories and for each category we have a uh, the seed url and for those seed urls our crawlers are working in parallel and like you know uh, doing things faster for us so looks like we have uh, a, a pretty good design in place here we talked about all functional requirement we covered all non-functional requirements so one more thing here we need to keep in mind that when we are like having URLs we need to keep them prioritized so basically ranking URLs in queue 
for example if some information is on the apple.com and at the same time something related to apple is on a blog it should be it should take apple.com on priority and we use it based based upon like you know title description and uh, freshness so there are like multiple parameters we consider here to define the right priority of url so that we choose and pick the right one first in the list so this is about the queue and one more thing we have to uh, keep in mind and that will be that filter out low quality pages like having a spell mistakes etc and also for a dynamic URL generation we will be doing server-side rendering here so yeah I think we did a pretty good job this seems pretty reasonable system design for these requirements so thank you so much guys and please leave your feedback in the comments and thanks again please don't forget to subscribe my channel